threats of violence and pictures of guns. They have prompted a teenager from Irving to speak out. But her family is saying there is nothing police can do because of the way these threats were worded. Andrea Lucia live for us right outside Austin Middle School tonight in Irving to explain. Only on CBS 11. Andrea. Yeah, these messages were part of a private Instagram conversation between three students who happen to go to this school. They are disturbing. The question is, are they illegal? And it just kept going off. 13-year-old Brittany Holstein's phone lit up two nights ago. Get some money and come to me, read one message, followed by this. I just know you're going to be dead by the time you arrive. The eighth grader says the messages to her and her best friend came from a 12 year old boy at school. They included pictures of a rifle and two magazines filled with bullets. I'll put you in your resting spot, he wrote. Lay both y'all down next to each other, too. All this shooting that's been happening, I kind of had a feeling he was probably going to come after me and her. But when Brittany and her mother reported the threat to a school resource officer, they didn't get the response they were hoping for. He couldn't press uh, any criminal charges on the boy because um, of the way he worded it. Um, pretty much, I guess, because the boy said, if you come to my house, y'all will be dead. We turned to attorney and former police officer Pete Schulte to explain. For terroristic threats to actually take place, there has to be a fear of imminent serious bodily injury. In other words, it must be happening right then. And for in this case, for them to have to travel somewhere to be placed into that fear of serious bodily injury doesn't make it an offense. The Holsteins say Irving police did contact the boy's family, who told them the guns belonged to a relative and that he did not have access to them. They remained skeptical and worried. With everything that's going on, you don't know if they were being for real. I mean, I don't know if he was mad, jealous. I mean, it doesn't matter. You don't threaten a child. Schulte said just because the police can't take action in this case doesn't mean that the school can't. He urged the family to follow up with administrators to make sure that they know about what's going on and to see what action they can take. Reporting live in Irving, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you.